My name is Vincent Hache. I'm a Principal Applications Engineer with MicroSemi's Performance Storage Solutions Group. Today I'd like to demonstrate a prototype of enclosure management extensions to the NVMe MI standard on our SwitchTech PCIe Gen 3 switch product. We'll start with a problem statement. Uh, NVMe devices are scaling to storage and data center use cases. JBOFs, or just a bunch of flash NVMe drive enclosures, need to be managed at this scale. This includes things like thermal, power, and drive slot management. In particular, LEDs identifying which drives to service, which drives have faults, uh, and mapping driver instances running on the host to physical slots in the data center. PCIe enclosure management has been possible to date, but inconvenient. Um, special cables are needed for out-of-band management, or vendor-specific PCIe drivers are required with proprietary interfaces. On SCSI, this problem was solved with SCSI enclosure services, but no such standard exists for NVMe. The solution is to expand the scope of NVMEMI to cover enclosure management. To do this, we'll leverage two existing standards, CES, which is a ma mature, ubiquitous standard in storage applications, and it allows us to reuse existing management tools with little to no change, and also NVME. We can reuse the driver and controller interface and simply extend the command set to carry CES management data. The solution would support multiple access models, including the host communicating through the PCIe NVMe driver, or a management BMC using PCIe bindings through the host, or out-of-band MCTP via I2C. The prototype that we'll be demoing today is set up as follows. On our host, we have Chiplink, MicroSemi's debug and diagnostics GUI running and it will be parsing and displaying enclosure data in a user-friendly format. On the back end, commands will be issued with SGSES, an open source SES utility that has been modified to bind to NVMe controllers. SGSES will work on top of a standard unmodified NVMe inbox driver using admin queue pass-through. On the switch, we've implemented an NVMe MI controller. Now this has a minimal NVMe command set, really all that's needed to, to have the host see this as an NVMe controller. And we've added the new CES send and CES receive commands. This will appear to the host as an additional function in the upstream switch port. We've also implemented CES target with support for pages like Element Descriptor, which will provide us information about all of the enclosure management elements on the switch evaluation board, enclosure status page, which will provide us information on the die temperature and LED states, and enclosure control, which will allow us to control the LEDs. Now let's jump to the demo. you'll see a video of the actual demo hardware. We have our switch evaluation board uh, with a cabled connection to a host and two Intel SSDs connected. If we run an LSPCI command, you'll see all of the micro semi targets found by the host. So we have our multifunction upstream switch port with a P2P, our standard management endpoint, and the new NVMe controller, and then all of the downstream ports. If we take a look at all of the NVMe controllers that the host can see, we'll see the NVMe controller implemented in the switch firmware as well as the two Intel SSDs. 
if we switch into Chiplink and take a look at all of the CES elements identified by the switch, and you can see in the bottom window here that SGCES commands are being sent out and information about the evaluation board enclosure is being sent back in CES formatted data. We've got four device slots, two of which are populated with our Intel SSDs, and a die temperature element. So we can do some interesting things. We can get some interesting data from this. Um, in particular, the BDFs assigned to each SSD are available here, which is useful for linking our NVMe driver instances up against enclosure elements, uh, serial number, and then our LED state. We also have the capability here to toggle the LEDs of the enclosure. And as I turn identify on for this slot, you'll see the LED light up on the evaluation board. We can turn that off. We can also turn on fault if there's an issue. Now you can see there's a red fault LED illuminated. Uh, that concludes our demo. If you have any questions or would like to see additional information, don't hesitate to visit our website www.microsemi.com. Thank you.